Well, you could almost hear the keyboards clicking away from here. If you missed out on the Black Friday sales, record deals are already rolling in on this Cyber Monday. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy is at the Amazon Fulfillment Center in Murfreesboro with a look at the flurry of activity. Dan. Good morning and happy Cyber Monday from the Amazon Fulfillment Center in Murfreesboro. They call it Santa's uh, modern day workshop, at least the one in Murfreesboro. Um, and that's what it feels like. 700 items per second is what they processed here at Amazon uh, last Cyber Monday. Expected even more this Cyber Monday. Early projections show possibly $6.6 .6 billion in sales this Monday. Of course, they already had a big Black Friday up almost 15% from last year. And they say today could be bigger than last year as well. If today breaks a record as expected, it'll be the sixth straight year that Cyber Monday sales have increased over the previous year. We'll have to see if that happens. Happy shopping to you. Reporting from Murfreesboro, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. Thanks, Dan. Also happening today, the man accused in a $43 million fraud case heads to court. Jeffrey Gentry owned the Gentry Brothers Tractor Supply in Sparta, Tennessee. He promised investors they would get big bucks on contracts where he was in charge of the bidding. Gentry ended up making millions off the scheme and started running a car lot. He's facing up to 40 years in prison. He'll be sentenced at 2 this afternoon in federal court. It's allegations of sexual misconduct and not passing legislation that everybody's talking about on Congress's first day back at work on Capitol Hill. Uh, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to be held accountable and I'm going to uh, try to be productive in the way I speak about this. Minnesota Senator and former Saturday Night Live alum Al Franken is breaking his silence following new accusations of sexual harassment. Franken is apologizing for forcibly kissing and groping a journalist more than 10 years ago during a USO tour. Three other women have now come forward with similar stories. Senator Franken says he is complying with an ethics investigation and has no plans to resign and will work hard to gain back the trust of voters. He was a legendary songwriter, entertainer, even movie star, and most importantly, he made us laugh. Visitation for Mel Tillis is getting underway at this hour in Clarksville. He died last week after a respiratory and intestinal illness. The Country Music Hall of Famer was known for his famous but endearing stutter. He always used it to put everyone at ease and have fun. His funeral will be held at 3 this afternoon at Mount Hermon Baptist Church off Gerald Ridge Road. The Tillis family is planning to celebrate his life in a big way with a tribute at the Ryman Auditorium in January.